All right, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Going to be talking about ah this thing today. This comes from uh, Sauron. This is the Sauron Vagon. Sauron has been around uh, for a little bit now. They've released a few pod systems. They have the the Sauron Drop, the Sauron Air, both of which were uh, fine. They were okay. I, I kind of liked the Sauron Air, but it wasn't my favorite pod system. And the newest thing that they've released here is this Sauron Vagon, which is really a, a very interesting shape. And I'm honestly I'm honestly kind of bummed that I have this blue one because looking at the website, the all black version with like the red LED on it looks very slick, looks very, very cool. And unfortunately, I don't think the colors look that great on this particular pod system. The blue is is this really bright, bright royal blue color and it's got a green LED indicator on it when you take a drag. I was mistaken. It is blue. It's blue on blue. But the vape I get from it is good. It's 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 a good uh, it's a good mouth to lung. The airflow on it really reminds me almost of like a K fun, meaning it's not like so tight. It's not like a jewel or a fix or something like that. Something that's really tight, and it's not really super open. It's not like a me one or a me pod or something like that. It's kind of somewhere in the middle, and it honestly, like I said reminds me of the K-Fun, which is to say, it's a really nice, nice resistance for a mouth-to-lung vape. Feels very satisfying. I get plenty of vapor production from it. These pods are actually quite nice. They have a little bit of a, of a crackle to them. It's a two mil capacity tank, and they say on the website that you can use basically any liquids you want with this. They say it's compatible with saltnik juices, it's compatible with like a free base juices, it can use like a 50 50 PG bl PGVG blend, and it can use like a 70 30 PGVG blend as well. I am using this right now with a saltnik juice. This is the tobacco from Minimal Vapor. Minimal. I've been vaping some of their juices pretty recently. Recently, and it's honestly not my favorite. I don't. I'm not in love with this tobacco flavor, so I'm looking forward to putting a new juice in here. So what I did is I grabbed a brand new uh, blank Vagon two mil pod, and I'm gonna fill it up with some 7030 juice just to kind of put that to the test. I've been vaping it just with the salt nix, and it's been giving me a real nice vape. But I want to try it with something a little bit thicker, and you know, thicker liquid wise, and see how it holds up. There's just this little rubber tab on the bottom right here, and you pull it open. Open, and it's a nice bit here. You can kind of see right there, it's a nice big opening for juice. When your juice goes in, the air needs somewhere to escape. And when you have a big opening like this, you can easily like stick a glass dripper bottle in there or stick the tip of a chubby, you know, chubby gorilla 60 mil bottle in there and be able to fill it up and then have the air come out. It makes for a smoother filling process. And be careful when you're pulling on this because it's only connected by a thin a thin a thin tiny tiny little string of silicone is gonna gonna hold your little stopper in place so I have a, another bottle of tobacco here this this juice doesn't even exist anymore I just have a little bit left from ECC this is a uh, professor Pibbleworth's <laughs> Secudo tobacco out of Canada and it's a glass dripper bottle so I'm interested to see how easy this is to fill up with a glass dripper bottle and this is a 70 30 PGVG mix so I'm gonna fill up this other pod hopefully I'm gonna fill up this other pod without making too much of a mess I'll pull my off-camera tray over here just to uh, you know catch any leaking or or drips, uh, mist drips, you know, that I might have here. Yep, yeah, real easy, real easy to fill up, even with a glass dripper bottle. Yeah, just like that. Wow, quick and easy, two mils. And the little rubber stopper goes back in, press it down. Now they say to let this uh, sit, so we're gonna wait a few minutes and, and let, the, let the wicks absorb some of that liquid in there. And 
and time. So I've been sitting here holding this up to the light and uh, I took a few little like, uh, you know, primer puffs on it. Saw a few couple bubbles happening in there. So I'm just going to plug this onto the pod. We're going to see how it goes. Or I'm going to plug this pod onto the battery and then we'll see how it goes. And while we're waiting for that to wick, let's talk about this battery. It's a... Uh, it's a real weird design, man. It's it's kind of this weird swoopy curvy design. Feels feels nice, feels fairly substantial, doesn't feel as weighty as some other pod systems out there. And honestly, like I said before, I'm just not a fan of of the colors. I wish I wish with all of my wishes that this was just the straight up black with the red LED indicator uh, that it just looks so much cooler and just uh, it just looks less cheap to me. And I genuinely can't tell if this is any sort of like uh, aluminum. It feels like plastic. This little clip on the bottom is, I don't know, plastic or aluminum. Like it has this little clip on the, on the bottom, right? So you can clip it to things that you're clipping it upside down though, which is interesting. It's keeping your juice away from your wicks. And I have the feeling if you're storing this in your pocket upside down and that juice isn't touching your wicks, if you flip it right side up and take a toot on it, I feel like you could get some dry hits in there. I'm also really interested to see how you know, durable this little clippy thing is. I can, I can, I was testing it around, I was, you know, I was fiddling around with it. I don't want to break it, but I was kind of pulling this as far out as I could. And yeah, it holds. I mean, it stays. It doesn't break or anything like that. I wonder how far I can take it. I really just don't want to break this thing. Oh, oh, it's got a little like, uh, okay, eh, it didn't break. It's got like a little quick release thing. So if you put too much pressure on that clip, it's just going to release out of the bottom of it. You can snap this back in just like that. Now your clip is back to working properly. It also charges, thankfully charges via micro USB. And as weird as this style is, as weird as this like swoopy thing with the clip is, it's actually quite comfortable to hold just like this. I end up putting putting my thumb on this little spring-loaded bouncy clip and just kind of holding it exactly like this and it's it's real comfortable to hold in the hand. Now that should be satisfactory for wicking of the juice, so let's give it a try. Yeah, oh, that tobacco's so much better. Yeah, I mean, it's holding up. That's a 70% VG juice, and it's still wicking really well. Four drags in, and it's not giving me anything that even resembles a dry hit. Five. Six just keeps just seems to keep wicking and, and keep wicking and that's fantastic. And just the fact that I can fill this up with a 70% VG liquid and, and kind of chain vape it and not run into any sort of dry hit situation. Real nice. I mean, that that's a bonus. That's a good thing. So like I said, it has a two mil capacity tank. It's got a 430 ma or milliamp battery hour battery on the inside, which is fine. It's not, you know, amazing but it's pretty par for the course for this size of pod system. So let's get down to brass tacks here with this Sauron Vagon. Are you going to need your vape budget hands if you're interested in purchasing this? Eh, not really. Clicking around the internet, I found it for about $35 most everywhere you go, which, I mean, that price kind of falls in line with the price of a lot of other pod systems. There's a, there's a big variety of refillable pod systems out there right around that same price. I do still really like that Cito from Rinco pod system, but performance wise and the ability to wick 70% VG juice, I think the Sauron, uh, the Sauron Vagon here is going to edge it out just a little bit in that department. Now, if we're going to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have literally nothing left to vape, is the Sauron Vagon something I would seek out and buy? If I could get it in black, all black with the red LED, 
Yeah, dude, this is a really good vape. If you're a vapor looking for a high nick pod system, the Sauron Vagon could be exactly what you're looking for. And truly and honestly, if you're a smoker looking to transition into vaping, this is a real simple, straightforward, easy to fill, high performing, easy to charge, easy to use, comfortable, handleable, little pod system vape that uh, that could also be what you're looking for. Anyway, that's enough rambling from me. It is what it is. It's the Sauron Vagon available across the internet for about 35 bucks. And even though it's just, it's just real oddly shaped. I just, I'm not a huge fan aesthetically of the way this particular pod system looks, but the performance that I get from it and the quality of vape that I get from this is kind of worth it. I can kind of overlook the, the, the slightly weird styling of it. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping.